Melody and I retired in 2018, and since then we've been traveling the USA in search of the best free and cheap camping. In this video, we take you to the best free and cheap camping in Arizona. Let's get to it. Check out our latest RV and camping related gear at our Amazon storefront. Link in video description. For this overview of the best free and cheap camping in Arizona, I'll be using Google Earth. The first place we're going to go is Mitri Lake, just a little bit north of Yuma, Arizona. This is located about 11 miles outside of Yuma, Arizona. This is a wildlife management area that is jointly managed by the Bureau of Land Management, BLM. There's 14 days free camping here. Uh, this area is so new that it doesn't even show on Google Map. This area right in here is now all developed. Uh, it's the new free camping area that we discovered during our last visit to Mitri Lake. And I'm going to cut to a video clip right now for you and introduce you to this new free camping area. This is Mitri Lake Wildlife Area Designated Camping Area. designated camping area here. Terry. I don't remember this area from several years ago. Yeah, this is why we do these campsite recons for free camping. You never know what you're going to find. What a treat. Mitri Lake Wildlife Area. Looks like it's jointly managed. Arizona Game and Fish and U.S. Department of Interior Bureau of Land Management designated camping area. You have a level graveled area. They've got the segregated off in the different campsites. You see all these boulders segregating off some different campsites for you. Melody um, stays tuned in with folks on Facebook. She knows this lady in that class A down there. I guess her name's Terry. And uh, yeah, she's she's visiting with Terry. Melody's visiting with Terry. Um, I see a vault toilet up on the hill there. I don't remember that from a couple years ago. There is a picnic pavilion right on the lake, right over in there, with lots of picnic tables and a cover. But uh, they have trash, trash dumpsters here too. Wow, so you got a vault toilet up on the hill, you got these trash dumpsters right across from this free camping area. Yeah, there's the free camping area. Uh, just a little bit further up the road, there were uh, those several different peninsulas uh, with a large parking area and that was marked no no overnight camping uh, as well as this area that's right by the picnic area it's marked no overnight camping and there's the picnic area over in there 100 percent free camping at the mitri lake wildlife area the next place we're going to go is roadrunner BLM just outside of Quartzsite, Arizona. This is just a little bit south of Quartzsite. Okay, so you can see Quartzsite here. There's Interstate 10, here's I-95, and here's Roadrunner BLM. I chose Roadrunner BLM. This was our first camping trip to the Quartzsite area. I set up camp here. There's a campground host. You check in with the campground host, but it is 14 days free camping. 
And it's I chose that area because it's predominantly flat. There's a lot of interesting areas to camp in the quartzite area. But if you've never been to the area, I'd recommend going to Roadrunner BLM, set up camp there. It's a very flat area, easy to camp out of, uh, and you're in close proximity to quartzite. Let's go to the video for Roadrunner BLM. Okay, well, we just got off of US Route 95, heading south, and we're, we got on La Paz Valley Road, and now I'm pulling in to the Roadrunner 14-day free camping area. campground host right in front of us, up to the right, and I selected this fork off to the right, you can, you can get lost in here, the place is so big, uh, so I just opted to bear to my right, just follow this road down. And uh, as you can see, there are, uh, there's lots of space here, but it's totally free. The mountains are beautiful. Uh, this is my rig off to the, uh, off to the right. This is our view front yard. Got that mountain range in our backyard. And as you can see, we're not crammed in here at all. So yeah, lots of space, 14 days free camping. Not as warm as Florida. <laughs> it's been fairly uh, unseasonably chilly, they say, this last week. Um, it's been in the upper 60s during the day. Got down to, I think, 37 degrees last night. And, uh, but yeah, that's, that's our campsite. Pretty sweet. The next place we're gonna go is just north of Quartzsite, Arizona, and that is Plumosa Road, BLM. Folks, this was the first campsite where I tried out my newly installed solar system. I had solar installed by Discount Solar in Quartzsite, Arizona. They did a fantastic job. And uh, this was my first experience in testing that system out. And I show you a little a bit about that in this video clip of our camping trip to Palomosa Road, BLM. Let's go to the video. Okay, so this is the turn off off of uh, US 95 North going into Plumosa Road. Whoa, that was a roadrunner. Almost ran over that roadrunner. So now we're on Plumosa Road, and as soon as you pull on the Plumosa Road and you go over this cattle guard, uh, the campground host is right in here. is you got a picnic table set up to just stop in there get your permit it's a free permit you just need to fill out a little paper <coughs> so they know who they got in here how long you can stay 14 days for camping 
quick pull out. I'm not, I'm not far up the road here. I'm gonna leave the camper on so you can see. There's camping on both sides. BL, BLM camping on both sides of the most road. I think it's more scenic than Roadrunner, although Roadrunner so far is my favorite. It's right before you get to milepost one. You can make this, I made this with no problem, this wide turn with my fifth wheel. yesterday here in Quartzsite at a place called Discount Solar. The guy's been in business for 30 years. All the employees seem to be knowledgeable. That's my rig right there. And uh, you can see some of the solar. I had 680 watts of solar installed yesterday. At 9 a.m. this morning, I was pulling in 14 amps going into my batteries at 9 a.m. So, really pleased with the install. Did a super professional job. set up here. Lamosa Road North. And there's camping on both sides of the road. I found more secluded sites uh, back in. Because um, you can go down different fingers. Uh, but this was my number one pick. It's convenient. You can get in and out. Easy access to court site. Easy access to dump your trash. Um, you don't have to cross washes to, to get to your rig. Yeah. So, that's it for the driving tour. There's my rig. What a backdrop, huh? Those mountains are gorgeous. So I thought I'd give you a, a little view from the top of the rig. Since I just got the solar installed, take a gander at what 640 watts, 680 watts of solar looks like. They can tilt them, but I don't think I'm gonna need to tilt them. I got the tilt brackets to put on here if you wanna draw more amps in. But at nine o'clock in the morning, like I said, I was pulling in 14 amps at 9 a.m. There's probably a lot more now. Gorgeous mountains. The next place we're going to go, and this is also free camping, is just outside of the Kofa National Wildlife Refuge off of US 95. And th this made my list for the best free camping in Arizona because of the topography. Uh, the, the backdrop of the 
Kofa mountain range is just spectacular here. Um, let me take you to the video for Kofa View BLM and I'll show you what I'm talking about. And continuing up the road, let's go find an even sweeter campsite. Well, we're at another campsite at Kofa View BLM. What do you think, hon? Two thumbs up. If we were to, when we come back, this would be the place I would choose if it was open. Walk over here. Look at this view. What more could you ask for? You're away from the power lines. It's quiet. Definitely this would be the spot. Got a nice firing right there. Nice and peaceful. You're way away from uh, US 95. This is only a couple miles up the road from US 95. But look out this way. These mountains, I love that Kofa mountain range. You know what? You could even nestle your rig back in there if you wanted to. Yeah, there's all kinds of places where you can position your rig. Those mountains are, are very attractive as well, but I like these jagged mountains off in the, in the background. And these are gonna light up orange at night in the evening. Milo loves the BLM. So folks, this is the best campsite we found. There are many, many campsites, more than dozens on BLM land before you enter the Kofa National Wildlife Refuge. Once you enter the Kofa National Wildlife Refuge, uh, camping is limited to 14 days per year, but you can camp here absolutely free on BLM land uh, for 14 days. And then move on to, you know, another slice of BLM land, you know, so many miles off. But, uh, this is gorgeous up in here. Front door facing here. Front door facing that way. The next place we're going to go is just down the road on US 95, and that's King Road BLM. You can see the cell tower array from this campsite I've selected on King Road BLM. It, again, it's just inside of Bureau of Land Management land, uh, right before you get to the boundary of the Kofa National Wildlife Refuge. And the backdrop here is spectacular. Uh, I did hiking up there, and in fact, in this video clip I'm gonna show you, uh, I take it up on the mountain um, where I did a hike. Let's cut to the video now. Okay, I pulled off the uh, side of the road here. Right before you turn into the Kofa National Wildlife Refuge, this is US Route 95 heading north. We're getting back on US 95 heading north and it's a sharp turn can do it. I just did it with my fifth wheel not too long ago. You're going to hang a right onto King Valley Road. King Road. And you go up this road right before you get to the um, entrance to the Kofa National Wildlife Refuge. Well, this is BLM land on both sides of the road as you approach the refuge on King Road. And uh, we found a pretty good boondocking spot. We've got the fifth well set up. It has 5G AT&T cell service. Okay, my rig is, we're still on King Road. My rig is off to the right here. Pull off up in here. 
beautiful mountains right across from Peru. Okay, so you make this turn wide. Not much of a berm. Even a Class A, I think, can make it. Lots of room in this new docking area. We scouted it a couple days ago. So, what do you think of that for a backdrop? Pretty sweet. I think daddy is gonna hike that mountain tomorrow. I think I'm gonna go up on that mountain where that saddle is right up in there. That's where I'm gonna try to go. It's five o'clock in Kofa. <laughs> no, it's not, but we make our own time, don't we? <laughs> Milo's a good boy. Reprieve from the wind for a few minutes. Hiking in the Kofa National Wildlife Refuge. Only a couple miles from the campsite. Hunkered down in uh, a little golly. Uh, absolutely gorgeous. First on some rocks up here. At least I got a little bit of video without the wind blaring. Hopefully I can get some more later. A little bit windy, but it was a great hike today. The next place we're going is Palm Canyon BLM. This is heading back toward Quartzsite, Arizona on US 95. And I have to say, in this region of Arizona, uh, this was my favorite campsite. As you can see here, uh, the camp, this where I have the marker here, the GPS, 
uh, pin is actually where the turnoff is, and it's right adjacent to the spiral lambert. And I show you that in the video. But our campsite was located right in here. Um, it would be just west of the spiral lambert. Let's cut to the video now. We're heading south on US 95. And we're getting ready to turn onto Palm Canyon Road. We go to our boondocking site. Right before you get to the Kofa National Wildlife Refuge. boondocking site, the one we selected, is uh, three miles in on this uh, gravel washboard road. Right in here. Dead ahead is the spiral lambert. I give you an, an overview of that lambert from my RV standing on top of my RV. There's a rig. Fourteen day free camping on BLM land. And we're located uh, not too far from the entrance to the Kofa National Wildlife Refuge. And that's our front porch. Now we arrive safely at Palm Canyon. Kofa National Wildlife Refuge. We uh, just got back from a hike up on the Palm Canyon. That was a gorgeous hike. I have some video and some short clips and photos I'll post. This is our campsite. Milo sure likes to run around on the BLM. This campsite's located on BLM land just outside of the Kofa National Wildlife Refuge. Um, what do you think of that front porch? Milo wants food. That's what Milo wants. <laughs> well, back to happy hour. Okay, well, I remembered the name of that spiral. It's called the Lambert. And that's a view from the top of my RV. Pretty cool. And directly ahead, that's the Kofa Mountain Range and Palm Canyon is their dead center. Just a 1.3 mile trail. You got a little bit of elevation gain here. I think it's 400 some feet. Absolutely gorgeous trail. 1.3 miles out and back. 
not all that bad. But this is uh, this is some spectacular scenery. sign it tells you where the palms are. Look at those palm trees. Now what were you saying, hon? Well, go ahead. We're California palms and they're only found here. That's about it, a little climb to get up here and the all trail said uh, it was 400 and something feet elevation gain not bad you didn't need walking sticks or anything <laughs> <laughs> Trailhead back here. See the, that's the road winding up to the trailhead just inside the, where it's lit by the sunlight. That's the trailhead for Palm Canyon. Next place we're going to go is a paid campground, but it's very reasonably priced. Melody and I have camped here twice. This is an Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument. It's Twin Peaks Campground. Uh, we, we've camped here twice, and we would go back a third time when we visit Arizona uh, on our next trip. This the scenery is just spectacular. I prepared a little slideshow for you uh, from our very first visit to Twin Peaks Campground. And uh, I, I show you some of that spectacular scenery. And then right after that, I cut to a video where Melody is at the campsite. I put her on camera and she tells you what she thinks about Twin Peaks Campground. Let's go to that, that first, the slideshow, and then the uh the clip with melody at our campsite
making my way back to the rig. It's right over in there is my cougar. And if we have any luck, we'll spot Melody and Milo. We have really enjoyed our stay here at Twin Peaks Campground. This place is just so magical. Um, lots of trails that you can do. I usually just walk the campground with Milo so he doesn't get the little thorns in his feet. We, Lou had to take a thorn out of his, um, his one paw the first day we were here. So Milo and I had just been staying on the, walking the, the loops. The night skies are just gorgeous. The stars just fill the sky. Sunrise, sunsets, if you're into that, this is the place to be. If you've never been here, I highly recommend coming to Twin Peaks Campground. Melody and I love free and affordable RV camping and Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument surely fits that bill. If you like this video, click up here for the best free camping in Southern California.